friends, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is our Snack for the Journey, and we are, yeah, we are already in our Friday, right? If you are following me from Monday through Friday, this is the last video from, from for the week. But if you are just watching here and there, then it doesn't matter, right? If you are watching, and now I'm I'm sharing with you the book of First Samuel, a very important book in the Bible with a lot of important stories that give us the background, the foundation for a lot of things, the kingdom and everything uh, 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 in, the, in the book of Samuel. Samuel is a very important person in the, in the history of the kingdom of God. And now we are seeing, we're going to see a very interesting development, let's put it this way. But before we go there, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel to share this video with your friends and family and help us, pray for us, help us uh, to, to expand our, our ministry through the videos. Uh, but the verse for today is chapter 8, verse 7. And this is what the Lord said to Samuel. And the Lord told him, Listen to all that the people are saying to you. It is not you they have rejected, but they have rejected me as their king what what is have what is the context here the context here is the the people asked Samuel Samuel is getting old and they are afraid that well, someone is gonna die we need to we need the leader and they said why don't we have a why can't we have a leader a king like the other people around the other nations and they asked Samuel say hey, Samuel we want a king we want a king it's not that uh, it was wrong in that sense, it is not because Moses in the book of Deuteronomy, God said, hey, there will be a time that you are going to have a king. The problem was not the king. The problem is to remove God as a leader. That was the problem. And Samuel thought that, well, they want to remove me. And Samuel was sad. And then God is saying to Samuel, Samuel, it's not you. <laughs> it's me. They don't want me as the king, the leader. It doesn't matter if he's a judge, a king, a governor, a pharaoh, priest. What, it doesn't matter. If God is the king, that is what matters. And here the people want some king like the other nations, and they want someone that will kind of, hey, we, we want to follow that guy. And God is going to move aside. So the challenge here is not that they have a king or not have a king, they have a judge, not have a judge, a priest, another priest. That is not the problem. The problem is who is the real king? Is the Lord the real king? The Lord will continue to be the king. No matter who is sitting on the throne there for them. It doesn't matter if it is a priest, if it is a, a, a judge, if it is a king, governor, a president, is the God, the king. That is the challenge here. And, uh, and God made clear to Samuel, said they do not reject you, Samuel, they reject me as their king. That is the sad part of this story. People want somebody else to lead them and they didn't want the Lord to lead them and this is a challenge for each one of us my friend is to have the Lord as our King to lead us in our lives and this is our snack for today God bless you